Now we all know that plant can make its own food. How does it convert water and carbon dioxide into simplest carbohydrate, glucose? That is fascinating. We eat vegetables, fruits for nutrients. We eat other animals that eat plants. From fructose, sucrose to vitamin, protein, everything is produced from the glucose plant makes during photosynthesis. Let's see how that glucose is produced. You must be knowing that photosynthesis happens inside chloroplast which contains chlorophyll. Now photosynthesis has two stages. During the first stage chloroplast collect enough solar energy and store that in ATP. So the second stage of photosynthesis is light independent. The first stage takes place on thylakoid membrane. These disc like parts are thylakoids. Its membrane has large complexes of protein and pigments that absorb solar energy. There are two systems like that which are called photosystem that harvest sunlight. First photosystem 1 which has a special pair of chlorophyll called P700 because this chlorophyll absorbs light of 700 nanometer wavelength which is blue light of the spectrum. And second photosystem is photosystem 2 which has a special pair of chlorophyll called P680. It absorbs red light of 680 nanometer wavelength. Now whole event starts when P60 chlorophyll absorbs solar energy and one of its electron goes into very high energy state. To compensate for that electron, water molecule is broken down. This produces oxygen and hydrogen ions. So, oxygen is produced very early in photosynthesis. Now, excited electron travels down from one electron carrier to other electron carrier and keep losing energy. And finally, it reaches photosystem 1. Now, during this pathway, released energy drives pumping of hydrogen ions to thylakoid interior, that is lumen. Now PS1 also absorbs solar energy. So electron excites again. It is transferred to another electron carrier called ferrodoxin. Now electron reaches NADP plus reductase complex where it would be used to reduce NADP plus to NADPH. This NADPH is very very important as it would play primary role in reducing carbon dioxide into glucose in next stage of photosynthesis. Right now hydrogen ion density is very high inside thylakoid because some ions pumped in, some ions were supplied by water. There is too much hydrogen ion inside and too little outside. So these ions will flow outside through ATP synthase complex. During this, ATP synthase will combine adenosine diphosphate that is ADB with inorganic phosphate and produce ATP that is adenosine triphosphate. Now we are ready for the real production. ATP will supply energy for the next stage of photosynthesis and NADPH will play a vital role in turning carbon dioxide into glucose in next stage of photosynthesis which will happen in stroma of chloroplast. That part doesn't require sunlight. It will take all the energy from ATP. So those reactions are called dark reactions. But we will learn that in our next lesson. Just hold on to ATP and NADPH for now. We will get glucose later. That's all for now.